So let's look at this question. Draw a labelled diagram showing the ultrastructure of a typical prokaryote. So this is a relatively simple, simple question where we just have to draw a diagram. So let's begin from the very start. So a prokaryote, so usually they like to draw a picture of a bacteria such as Escherichia coli or E. coli. So let's draw the first big thing, which is... Actually, that's probably a bit... They like you to draw it in more of, a, more of an oval kind of shape. So let's do that first. So let's draw something like this. Okay. And we can label this outside bit. as the cell membrane. So that's the cell membrane. Okay, so if that's the cell membrane, then on the inside we also... Sorry, that's not the cell membrane, that's a cell wall. And on the inside, we have the cell membrane instead. So this is the cell wall. And then on the inside layer, which we might just draw another inside layer like this. And we're going to label this inside layer as the cell membrane. Because remember, the cell wall is there to keep structure to the prokaryotic cell. So that is going to be the cell membrane. Okay? So, we've done all the objects on the... On the, the outline the cell. Now how about some objects on the outside? Well, let's draw like a big tail. And it's got to be as long as the prokaryotic cell, and that's called the flagellum. Okay, and then we've also got some spikes or hair-like projections on the outside, and they are the pili. Okay. Now we've done everything on the outside, everything that contains the prokaryote, and now we have to talk about things on the inside. So, genetic structure inside there is naked DNA. So they're not in the form of chromosomes, but they're just naked DNA by itself. There's no protein to wrap up the DNA. Aside from that, they also might have ribosomes as well. So just do dots as ribosomes. It's a site of protein synthesis, where proteins are made, as well as circular DNA. So we can call this plasmid. Okay, and those are the main things. So remember that this is a short question, so you're looking for around about four to five different points to get each one. So if we count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we've actually got seven points here. So that's more than enough to get four marks. Good. So that's the first short answer question. The next short answer question we're going to talk about is comparing the structure of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. And the best way to approach this one is to do a table. So let's draw it out first. So we've got prokaryotic on the left hand side, prokaryotic cells, as well as eukaryotic cells on the right hand side. Okay. So there are these two. Now let's compare the different structures that they have. Let's first think about the, the inside, so the very inside structures, perhaps say the nucleus. So a eukaryotic cell is a more advanced cell, so it does have a nucleus. So a nucleus is present. Seem to have a bit of an error there, so let's try again. So we're going to quickly draw that there, so prokaryotic versus eukaryotic. So eukaryotic, they do have a nuclei, so nucleus present. Whereas the next one for prokaryotic cells, they do not have nuclei, so no nuclei. What they do have, however, is naked DNA. Remember how we talked about naked DNA, where it's just DNA by itself with no proteins wrapping it around. Whereas eukaryotic cells, they do have uh, a protein binding as well. So it's DNA 
and histone proteins present. Good. Okay, so we've talked a bit about like the genetic information. What else is there? Well, let's talk about the ribosomes. So prokaryotic cells have primitive ribosomes, so they're smaller in number. So they're 70S ribosomes. Whereas eukaryotic cells are more advanced, so they've got a larger number, 80S ribosomes. Hmm, what else? So other structures, so we talked about nuclei, we talked about ribosomes, how about mitochondria? So periodic karyotic cells, they don't have mitochondria. Whereas eukaryotic cells do have mitochondria. Good. Um, and other membrane-bound organelles as well. Remember the Golgi apparatus, the endoplasmic reticulum, those really long names? Well, prokaryotic cells are, are very primitive, so they don't have them. So no membrane-bound organelles. Whereas these ones, I'm just going to shorten it by MBO, membrane-bound organelles, present. So, one, two, three, four, five. So given that this is a short question, we're usually looking for four to five answers as well to get full marks too. So let's put one more just for security. Let's talk about the cell wall. So in prokaryotic cells, which are bacterial cells, for example, cell wall is always present. Whereas for eukaryotic cells, the cell wall can sometimes be present if the, if the cell is a plant cell, but if it's an animal cell, it doesn't have a cell wall. So, cell wall sometimes present if plant cell. There you go. So there's our final table, and that is something that you'd want to do in the exam as well. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.